Hi, welcome to the first video in this series of our monthly application, Syntax Edit. In this video, I want to look at the syntax definition files and also the syntax class, and we'll concentrate on that. And then we'll look at how that class is loaded and instantiated within the view controller object. So we have two plist types that are driving the syntax definition. And the first of these is groups.plist. Now, C underscore groups.plist is a plist uh, group file that defines a syntax for C highlighting. And that's our default highlighting in this stage of the product. So we have three syntax types. We have functions, types, and preprocessor. And these will be strings uh, that we're looking at when we tokenize the words for each of these types. So C functions, C primitive types, and C preprocessor types. So what this says is we have a dictionary. Uh, and the functions uh, key is has a value of a string that is C space and then pound FF0000. And what this means is that we are going to colorize the string and give it a red color. FF0000 is RGB, hexadecimal. So this is going to be straight red, 255 red. Types we're going to colorize, but also we're going to apply a bold tag. So bold and colored with a blue color is what the type uh, definition says. And then preprocessor directives, we're going to colorize only, not bold, and apply a darker red, a slightly darker red. Uh, we could change this to, let's say, 5500000 to get kind of a maroon color, but that's okay. We'll just leave it like it is right now. Also remember that with a plist, you can always view it as source code, which will view it in XML format. And sometimes it's easier to edit into a plist uh, file if we view it in XML. So we can see it's a dictionary, and that's our wrapper tag. The plist is the root tag, always. Uh, a plist is straight XML. It's just uh, got a DTD or document type definition of uh, plist. And here is that, and here's the property list, DTD, document type definition. And then it has this plist version 1.0 tag, which wraps the entire thing as the root tag. We have a dictionary and whose keys are here and whose values uh, follow the keys. So that's very simple. We can uh, hierarchically see how we could have a dictionary of dictionaries with keys and values, let's say. So we could uh, create very complex plists here in the XML view. But for now, we'll just go back to the uh, property list view, a graphical view. So these keys are the values of our definitions plist file. And so if we look at this, we can see that the keys here are the various strings that we're going to highlight in different ways. And the values are really just pointers back to the groups file. So we can see that, for instance, this square root f function is outlined here as a function. That's the value of this tag. And then when that goes back to the groups file, we'll see that functions, all functions, are defined as colorized in red. And that's how that is going to pull up and work. So now let's look at the syntax class. Syntax is an NS object uh, derivative. And it has two properties, which are both NS dictionaries, highlight groups and group definitions. And these dictionaries will correspond to the groups plist and the defs plist. Uh, we have a instance method called load syntax attributes with name, and we pass it a syntax name. And then we have two class methods that will each fetch their appropriate dictionary and return it. And this will be important when we look at the syntax view controller class um, in a couple of videos. So now let's look at M, the implementation, just to see how this, uh, these methods are implemented. These are really very, very simple. Uh, we synthesize our two properties, highlight groups and group definitions. And then load syntax attributes with name, which is our instance method, uh, gets a syntax name and then applies that underscore groups or underscore defs to get the file name here. So if we pass in a syntax of C, lowercase c, this will correspond to C underscore groups dot plist and C underscore defs dot plist. And this is how we define various syntax files. 
uh, in our next monthly app presentation, we'll show how to change that syntax file definition within the program. But for now, uh, this method will do that. And then the groups path and defs path are just main bundle paths. So these are sitting right here in the main bundle in supporting files, and we pull them out right here. We never modify these files within the program. The idea is that we would be able to upsell uh, later versions of this application with new syntax files. Uh, we don't want the user being able to modify these files, so we save them in the bundle, and that's just fine. Then we go ahead and set these two properties, the Highlight Groups Dictionary and the Group Definitions Dictionary, to dictionaries with contents of their appropriate file paths. And then we go ahead and nil, since these were all screen, uh, strings, and as strings, we can go ahead and nil all of these by cascading them, all setting them to nil. And that's how we do load syntax attributes with name. The fetch ones, the fetch highlight groups for syntax and fetch group definitions for syntax, both pass in the syntax string, just the same as it did before. And then instead of a void method uh, that populates two properties, we don't have access to the properties in class methods, so we just pass those dictionaries back. We return the dictionaries, and that's all we're doing here. Now, in viewcontroller.m, let's look at where the syntax class is created and uh, populated. So the syntax class is right here. Here's our property syntax. And then we synthesize it here in this line, as we can see. And then in init with nib name bundle, we instantiate the syntax class. Actually, we call self syntax, which calls its getter. And the getter is lazily instantiating the syntax class. So we call self.syntax and then tell it to load syntax attributes with name. And that will load up those syntax attributes into highlight groups and group definitions. And then we can use that as a syntax model for our application. So that's the syntax class and the plists uh, that uh, will drive the syntax highlighting that we're going to talk about shortly. Thank you.